Danny Williams was not what Kat had expected. She didn't know her very well, of course, but in class, she'd always seemed to be a hardworking student, genuinely interested in science. Turned out, she was also kind of a complainer. They were only riding their bikes a little less than a mile from Kat's house, and Danny wasn't even carrying the heaviest equipment. Some people just didn't have the drive to go the extra mile for research. But Kat wasn't about to let that get her down. If her calculations were correct, and they almost always were, she had quite the surprise in store for Danny. Where are we going again? Danny asked for the third time. Kat sighed and brushed away the hair that kept slipping out from under her knit cap. The power substation, it's just up this hill. The road began to take a steep incline. Danny groaned. Why is it so important we go there now? My parents won't be thrilled that I'm out here alone. Now that it's getting dark. She eyed the woods on either side of the road. Well, you're not alone. I'm here too. And I know this path like the back of my hand. It's a safe neighborhood. My mom can vouch for that. Kat smiled. As for why, you'll see. Five minutes after we get there, give or take. We'll have just enough time to set up the equipment. They rode up the hill, Kat's adrenaline pumping. She was beyond excited to be participating in the McMurray Youth Science Competition for the first time. It was only open to grades 7 through 12, and each school in the state could send two projects per grade level. The contest was sponsored by the McMurray Corporation, which did pharmaceutical research, and the judges were always leaders in their various scientific fields. No seventh grade team had ever won the grades seven to nine category. Cat planned to be the first. But to Cat, this project was about so much more than just a science fair or even a scholarship to science camp. She knew aliens existed, and she wanted to prove it. Her dad was a scientist at NASA, and he lived for his work, which was why he didn't live with them anymore. He had the coolest job in the world.